While December is a month of extremes, cold and dark in the northern hemisphere and opposite in the southern, it's also one of the best months of the year for amateur astronomers and stargazers. December 2024 is also a busy month in the night sky. There's the standard and impressive spate of meteor showers that pepper the calendar, as well as close visual approaches and lunar occultations with almost all of the visible planets. There's also the December solstice, which marks the changing season and an ideal opportunity to see a neighboring galaxy. In short, there's no shortage of reasons to bundle up and head out under the cold, clear skies of this month. December 2nd, peak of the Fionicid meteor shower. While December is best known for two other meteor showers, the highly active Geminids mid-month and the lesser but still impressive Ursids in late December, the first meteor shower of the month is actually on the night of December 2nd. On this night, the Phenicid meteor shower peaks, with only a small number of meteors per hour. For most viewers in North America, the Phenicids will be below the horizon and not visible. This is because the radiant point in the constellation Phoenix is best visible from nearer the equator and the southern hemisphere. December 5th, peak of the Phi Cassiopeiae meteor shower. If you're ready for another chance to spot meteors, consider heading out in the morning of December 5th. This night is also the peak of the Phi Cassiopeiae meteor shower, which is right in the same part of the sky as Comet Borisov may be spotted. To try and spot Phi Cassiopeiae meteors, look for the radiant point in the constellation of Cassiopeia in the sky. You may spot only a few meteors per hour from this point. Based on the Earth's rotation on the night of December 6th, the majority may be short-tailed as they enter right at us. December 7th, Jupiter at opposition. On December 7th, Jupiter will reach opposition, positioning itself directly opposite the Sun in the night sky. This alignment makes it appear brighter and larger than at any other time of the year, an ideal moment for viewing. Located in the constellation Taurus, Jupiter will be visible throughout the night, reaching its peak around midnight, providing a spectacular sight for stargazers. December 8th, peak of the Monoceroted meteor shower for Southern Hemisphere stargazers. Here's another meteor shower for you. For the whole night of December 8th, Look for meteors from the radiant point in Monoceros. As many people aren't familiar with the faint constellation of Monoceros, look for it in the space between Orion to the west, Gemini to the north, Canis Major to the south, and Hydra to the east. You'll want to use a Starfinder app for this one, as it depends on both your latitude and time of viewing to determine whether the radiant point will be above the horizon. December 14th peak of the Gemini meteor shower. If you haven't seen any of the meteor showers so far, month, December 13th to 15th is the night for it. This night, the Gemini meteor shower will peak with up to 120 meteors per hour, but we probably won't see that many. Look for meteors coming from the constellation of Gemini. Use the bright stars of Castor and Pollux to spot the constellation in the northern sky for most viewers. Meteor activity is expected to peak around sunset on the 14th, so you can potentially see meteors on the night of December 13th and the night of the 14th. Unfortunately, the moon will cause visibility problems. The waxing gibbous moon will be 99% illuminated and bright as it moves across the sky. December 15th, full moon. The moon will reach full phase, at this time of the month, it is visible for much of the night, rising at around dusk and setting at around dawn. The cold moon. The sequence of full moons that fall through the year are sometimes assigned names such as the cold moon, according to the months and seasons in which they fall. December 19th. Peak of the December Leonis, Minorid Meteor. Shower meteors, meteors, everywhere. While the December Leonis Menorid meteor shower is one of the lesser known and least active of the month, it's still a fun astronomical event if you find yourself out for a winter solstice celebration and the skies are dark. On the night of December 19th, 
look for up to 3 meteors per hour from the radiant point in Leo Minor. The constellation will move high across the southern sky for most viewers. December 21st, December Solstice For the Northern Hemisphere, December 21st marks the Winter Solstice. We've got a great list of Winter Solstice celebrations to inspire you on the longest night of the year. Or you could just plan on some stargazing as the moon will be 59% illuminated, a little better than earlier in the month. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's the shortest night of the year, the Summer Solstice. We have a list of cool Summer Solstice celebrations if you're curious about those, too. December 22nd, Mercury at highest altitude in morning sky. On December 22nd, Mercury will reach its highest altitude in the morning sky, providing an excellent opportunity for early risers to observe the elusive planet. Typically difficult to spot due to its proximity to the sun, Mercury will be visible low on the eastern horizon just before sunrise. This event marks one of the best times to see Mercury as it shines brightly against the dawn, making it a spectacular sight for dedicated sky watchers. December 22nd, peak of the Ursid meteor shower. While the Geminides are the star of December's meteoric events, don't forget that the Ursids occur too, peaking on the 22nd this year. The Ursids occur from December 17th to 26th. This year you can expect to potentially spot Ursids all night in the Northern Hemisphere. Close approaches and lunar occultations in December. 2024 is a big year for lunar occultations, that is, times when the moon passes in front of other objects in the night sky from our earthly perspective, of course. December 4th. Close approach of the moon and Venus passing within 2 degrees 11 minutes of each other in the constellation Sagittarius. December 8th, Lunar Occultation of Saturn, visible in Southeast Asia and Japan. In other locations, a close approach 16.3 arc minutes apart in the constellation Aquarius. December 9th, Lunar Occultation of Neptune, visible from Eastern Russia, Western Alaska, Japan, and Northeastern China. December 14th, close approach of the Moon and Jupiter, which will appear 5 degrees 25 minutes apart in Taurus. December 18th, lunar occultation of Mars, visible in far northern North America and Europe. Otherwise, a close approach, just 52 arc minutes apart in Cancer. Do you have questions about these December night sky events? Let me know in the comments below. For space updates, subscribe to Secrets of Space.